you guys. Today we'll be discussing how to deal with people pleasing. And that is something that mostly everyone struggles with. There's probably a small percentage of people that really don't care. Um, but for the most part, we struggle with it to a certain level or extent. We will go into scripture and see what the scripture has to say about that. So let me put my glasses on. I am going to read it off my phone. Which says, For am I seeking the approval of men or God? Or am I trying to please men? If I were still trying to please men, I would not be able to be a servant of Christ. Wow. Okay. Um, that is very true. Because you can only please one master. You can't please more than two people. At all. So you either please Christ or the world. Uh, you know, I think we were all raised to, you know, kind of be a little bit of a people pleaser. You know, um, your mom always told you, eat everything in your plate and you'll get rewarded with dessert. Um, or, you know, bring home good grades and you'll get that bike. Or, you know, so there's always, there was always some sort of reward growing up. So, you know, that got ingrained in us. And so as adults now, we tend to do that too. And, you know, which is not a bad thing, which is actually a really good thing. Um, for example, you know, you working a little bit harder at work so you could be recognized. And when promotion comes, you get a little bit a nicer promotion. Um, or, you know, you do the dishes and clean around the house or your wife or your husband um, could be happy. And therefore, you know, there'd be more intimacy. There's many ways where that could be really healthy. Um, and there's nothing wrong with um, basically doing that to an extent. But where it comes becomes a danger is when you basically police others and you bring your walls down and you get tempted to do something that's against God's will. So for instance, one example that I can um, think of is, you know, drugs and sex. You know, um, sometimes you get pressured um, to do drugs or sex. Um, it's maybe just because you want to make them happy that you have sex with um, and it brings you joy by doing that by making them happy brings you joy if it was you know that was something that I struggled with I wanted to make myself happy so I made them happy too, and then that brought joy to me or even sometimes your faith and beliefs are put on the table with your friends and you just don't voice your opinion and your values and you just allow their boundaries become your boundaries and because you're afraid of what they would think about your values and that's never a good thing and sometimes we act and say things just to be likable or you might lie gossip what does the bible say we need to go back and what does the bible say you know you can't lie no gossip be yourself. It says that he has not given us the spirit of fear. So we can't fear being truthful, being true to who we really are. We need to not be seeking other people's approval. Just think about it. Like, what is it that Jesus can't give you that other people can't? And there's nothing, absolutely nothing. So then why do we constantly try to seek people's approval we need to really think about where and where we're at be honest and if it's something that we're struggling with then really ask god to help us 
what good does it do to you to gain the whole world but not have God's approval? You have to choose who you want to serve. Ask yourself, be honest with yourself. Who am I pleasing right now? Am I pleasing myself? Am I pleasing others? Or am I pleasing Christ? Am I a disciple follower of Christ? Or am I following the trends of the world and trying to mimic and be like others in the world? We really should be following Him, reading His word and doing exactly what He wants us to do and all the blessings will come into our lives. Um, so I want to end the video with that. Um, we all have it. We just have to really surrender it to God and have Him help us with it. I will be trying to commit to make a devotional maybe once a week on Tuesday, so hopefully I can stick to that. Um, but if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now and um, share the video with others. Um, but yes, until next time, pray and um, know that you're not the only one. All right.